Lily Rose Depp's portrayal of pop sensation Jocelyn, who is the focus of the premiere, is introduced. Yes, the daughter of Johnny. She is recovering from the loss of her mother and a stay in a mental health facility, and she is currently dealing with a scandal involving a leaked to Mitt photo. She is also virtually or completely naked in almost every scene, including a photo shoot for the album cover, when she insisted on flashing her As they struggle to prevent Jocelyn from learning about the photo leak, we also get to know her crew, which includes Rachel Sennett as her best friend assistant Leah and Dan Levy as her publicist. Jocelyn wears a hospital bracelet during the photo shoot for her comeback album, along with tequila bottles, as a nod to her most recent nervous breakdown. While record label executive Nikki, Jane Adams, assures him mental illness is sexy, explaining that mental illness is the only way for common consumers to imagine they might have a chance with the pop princess, Xander, wonders if the bracelet might serve to romanticize mental illness. For many audiences members at Con, this was the moment that solidified the series' scandalizing status. After briefly hooking up with Tedros at his nightclub and returning home solo, Jocelyn chokes herself hard while pleasuring herself, seeming to reference how Tedros grabbed her throat while they were kissing on the dance floor. In her conversation with a Vanity Fair reporter working on a profile on the pop star, Jocelyn asserts that everyone answers to someone. Jocelyn confuses the reporter and the crowd by responding, God, when asked to whom she answers. Jocelyn says she likes that Tedros has a rape Y vibe. After Jocelyn and Tedros brief rendezvous at the club, Jocelyn tells her assistant best friend Leah that she wants to invite Tedros over to the house. Leah cringes slightly and tells Jocelyn she thinks Tedros has a rape Y vibe, to which Jocelyn responds that she kinda likes that. Leah invites Tedros inside Jocelyn's home as Jocelyn finishes getting ready. Tedros kisses Leah on the lips to welcome her and immediately makes her uncomfortable. When she orders him to get ready, he suspiciously asks, are you sure? As he waits for Jocelyn, he continues to act weirdly, sniffing her furnishings and practicing the hey, angel he'll use to address her. Tedros comments that Jocelyn isn't singing her new song like she knows how to fk, and offers to assist her out, all while they are flirting, drinking, and enjoying her new song. Before she realizes it, Tedros had draped the crimson fabric from her robe over Jocelyn's face, wrapped the belt around her neck, exposing her facial characteristics. Then Tedros pulls a knife from his pocket and instructs Jocelyn to open her mouth from beneath the cloth, creating a tiny gap so she can breathe through her mouth. He says, now you can sing, as the episode comes to a close. While the HBO series owns up to its references to Britney Spears, this is one we couldn't have expected. After explaining that Jocelyn's team pushed her tour and refunded tickets amid her breakdown, her team likens her to Olympic gymnast and goat Simone Biles for prioritizing her mental health to prepare for her next professional chapter. So what's the final word? It's gorgeously photographed, just like Levinson's Euphoria, and at times, it seems to be trying to reveal the brutal Hollywood assembly line that pumps out women like Jocelyn.